Hello, I'm Nina Ross and this is Andy Roy and we're both barristers at 12 Kings Bench Walk Chambers specialising in personal injury law. So Andy, tell me why is personal injury limitation law so complicated? Well Nina, there's a couple of reasons. First of all, the statutory provisions themselves are quite complex and they centre on quite slippery concepts such as knowledge and also prejudice. Moreover, over the years they've become very heavily encrusted with case law. As far ago as 1997, Lord Justice Brooke said, and I'm quoting here, that this branch of law has become grossly overloaded with reported cases. In the 22 years since then, that has got worse, not least because of the proliferation of reported cases generally. The result of all this is that lawyers and judges frequently get this area of law wrong. A good illustration of this is the fact that twice the House of Lords has made decisions which subsequently have been held to be completely wrong and have had to be reversed. Those cases being Stubbins and Webb and Horton and Sander. So from things about like this, the best judges in the land get this area of law completely wrong, which rather illustrates how difficult it is for the rest of us practitioners to get it right. And that's really the reason why one needs clear guidance to find one's way through this difficult area.